We'd like to welcome you. We'd like to welcome you who will shape the new world to Charles Darwin University. A university who believes we're made bolder by your unique experiences, perspectives and opinions. We'd like you to be part of our community where we not only teach, but learn from you. We'll work together to create a path to turn your passion into a profession. We know we can help you get there. We're ranked in the top five Australian universities for graduate employment and salary outcomes. Not to mention being named the Territory's best training provider three years running. But we can't take all the credit. Our students make us who we are. So we want you to join our flexible and supportive learning environment. Bring your determination to fight for social justice. That's going to give a powerful voice to those who need it most. Bring your toddler-proof resilience only a parent of three could have. That's going to give you the strength to reach your goals. Bring your curiosity for renewable energy. That's going to uncover more sustainable ways of living. And bring your bravery to pursue your dream career. That's, go That's going to take you to some exciting, unknown places. Bring whatever makes you, you. Because what you may think is holding you back could unlock your future. We're not like any other university because you make CDU the New World University. All right. Hello, everyone. Good day to you. Good morning or good afternoon. And welcome to our online education session, Top 2021 Courses for Careers, Transcending the World, the New World Online. And this is presented by Bada Education Philippines in partnership with Charles Darwin University, Australia. By the way, my name is Monette. I hope you can all see me. Mabuhay to all. <laughs> yes, and I'll be your moderator for today. And before we start, just a few housekeeping reminders. This session is being recorded and we'll be sharing a copy um, after the event. All right. And all participants, I'll just request to stay on mute um, just to avoid background noise. If you have any questions, feel free to use the chat function at the bottom of your screen. And I think many Many participants have asked if they can receive an e-certificate of attendance. Yes, of course. So please do send me a private message with your full name, okay? So I'll be waiting for that towards the session. And this will run for about 60 minutes, okay? All right. And may I now introduce our guest speaker. Joining us today from Charles Darwin University is the Associate Director, International Recruitment. And um, let's all welcome, join me in welcoming Mr. Herwindu Sadiwa. We can all call him Windu, he said. <laughs> and Windu has prepared a lot of valuable information today so that all of you could get to know Charles Darwin University, the top programs, the career outcomes, and so much more. And I'm also very excited for all of you to meet our guest Filipina student who is originally from Kalinga, um, Philippines. She's also here with us today, just so you can all um, get to know her story and how it is living in Australia. All right, so isn't it exciting? And um, without further ado, I think at this point, I'll be handing over the screen to our um, guest speaker, Windu. Over to you. Thank you very much, Monette. Okay, while we are waiting for me to set up my screen and my presentation, um, and as Monette mentioned, my name is um, Windu, but you can, you can call me Windu. Um, and I hope now that you're able to see my screen. Thank you very much. I'm gonna yes. make um, thank you. I'm going to make it full screen now. Okay. And so, so my name is Windu and joining with me are current students from the Philippines as well. And she'll be able to tell you a lot more um, what CDU has to offer um, here um, in, 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 in Darwin, Australia. Okay. But she'll tell you a bit more a bit later. So my 
my topic for today is top 2021 courses for careers and transcending the new world online. So despite all these coronavirus situations, um, we all know now have to do all our programs online and we're still continuing to do, we're still improving all our courses and improving all our platforms so that you, when you do your online courses, you will still be able to unleash your fully your full potential so that you can still follow all your studies online via the comfort of your home. All right. So before I start about CDU, I'll just would like to give you a quick information of where we are. So CDU, Charles Darwin University, is located in Darwin. So Darwin is a unique tropical city famous for its beautiful sunsets, natural scenery, food and art markets, multiculturalism, indigenous culture and connections with Asia. So we are located in the north side of Australia. So from, um, from Darwin to Bali, so Bali is in Indonesia, that's only two and a half hours by plane. And from Darwin to um, Singapore, that's only four and a half hours by plane. Okay, so it's actually very, very close towards Asia, towards Southeast Asia, especially. From Darwin to Sydney, that's also about four and a half hours. So we're like in the middle between Singapore and um, Sydney. All right, the, the, uh, the weather here in Darwin, it's very, very the same as in Philippines, am I right? It's very, very the same. So we only have two seasons. So one is a dry season and the other one is wet season. So we are currently at the end of the wet season. Um, so uh, the humidity, it's pretty much the same as in the south, uh, as in, in, in Southeast Asia. But during the dry season, the humidity level will go down drastically while well, you see, while well, you actually feel really, really great. Um, while other, uh, other states and territories in Australia, they, are, um, they, they, they will be experiencing winter. Here, we don't have winter, but when they are experiencing winter, we are experiencing dry season where the humidity is, is very, very good going, going down drastically. And um, um, across the city will be around 20 to 26 degrees uh, in the morning and night time is really, really great feeling as well. So Darwin has a population of 160,000 people for more than 60 nationalities and 70 different ethnic backgrounds. Um, and again, before, as I mentioned, we are, we are often described as the Australia's gateway to Asia because of our location. And later on, I'll be able to tell you uh, more as well about the affordable lower cost of living. And even my colleague Edwina will also be able to tell you about how affordable here to live in, in, in Darwin. And as well as the community, the Filipinos communities here in Darwin. So um, just to give you a, a, a better uh, visual um, uh, of, of Darwin, I'll be able to give you a, a, a quick video um, after this. There's a place where anything is possible. One place left in the world with enough silence for your voice to be heard. And enough space for your ideas to come to life. A land alive and inspiring, where we don't just dream of achieving, we thrive on it. In the Territory, thinking big is nothing new. It's what we do. Over thousands of years of uninterrupted human curiosity, of birth and rebirth, creation and recreation, the naysayers and idea killers never came this far. Instead, it's home to people like us, those who saw the boundless potential of this place. Here, you can create a new business, propel your career and make a real impact. For this is a land where ambition and drive lives in harmony with lifestyle and the moments that truly matter. Because the Territory gives you the time and the space to connect in ways you can't anywhere else. With the land, with the community, and with yourself. 
here, you feel what it's like to be part of a collective of doers and creators, where humility sees innovative thinking simply referred to as getting things done. It's a place where you hear give it a go a lot more than you hear the word no. And you see what can be achieved when diversity is not an ambition. It's a shared history and a way of life. To be a Territorian is to understand we're not bound by tradition. We grow from tradition. It's caring more about where someone is going than where they're from. And above all else, it's knowing as we walk the road less travelled, together we'll create our boundless possible. There you go. Um, that is the video from um, NT from the Northern Territory. Um, so what I like about that video is that that um, you you were you actually able to see many people from different cultures. So the multiculturalism here in Darwin is really really great. So in the previous slides I mentioned there are more than sixty nationalities in Darwin in Darwin, which is really really great. So that's what is the highlight of the of the uh, the city itself. The other thing that I like is that, that you will see a lot of very good sunset and sunrise here as well in Darwin. So it, it, it's a place where you can't really replace with in, in, in any other cities in Australia as well. So um, I'm going to ask here just one question to Edwina. So Edwina, what is what is what, what do you like about Darwin? Uh, I love so many things about yes. Darwin, especially uh, the cheap transportation, wow. cheap grocery, like like every day they're on sale. Right. You don't need to negotiate. Like in the Philippines, you need to <laughs> negotiate. Like, oi, um, patawad naman. The word patawad, like you need to negotiate to have right. to get it for, for like a cheaper price. So in here, you don't need to like patawad kasi like automatically like 50% off, 70% off. Mga ganun lahat yung mga pagkain dito tsaka yung mga damit kung mga shopaholic kayo. Does yung, can I? Yes, 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 sure, sure. <laughs> so, dito is like multicultural talaga. Yung marami kang mamimit na iba't ibang tao. So, so kung marami kang mamimit na iba't ibang tao from different cultures, yung mindset mo hindi limited. Like mag -e expand talaga yung, yung mindset mo. Magiging open talaga sa lahat. Madami kang matututunan sa iba't ibang tao. So, mag-grow ka as a person talaga dito sa Darwin. Tapos napaka-friendly talaga nila. Like, Masyado silang yung, ano yung parang, parang kakilala mo talaga sila, like, nini-tingi, hi, hello, how are you, gaganan-ganan sila, like, sobrang friendly nila talaga dito. Nice, okay. I don't know what she said, <laughs> but uh, I think it's something very, very great. <laughs> Thank you very much, Edwina. All right, um, I'm going to go to you again later um, in, uh, in, in the presentation, so... So um, thank you again. So this is our campuses. So we have we have um, a couple of campuses across Australia. So where we are right now, we're live from Kejirina campus, which is in still in Darwin. So Darwin is actually a city, um, but then in in the city you have some suburbs, and Kejirina is one of the suburbs, and that's where we are located. We are live from from the Kejirina campus, and that's the main campus actually, where a lot of the programs are offered here. A lot of the staff members are also uh, working from here as well. In addition to that, in the same city, we have another campus that is located in the Waterfront Campus. So the Waterfront Campus is actually in the city. So right in the CBD of Darwin, and it's mainly for the business, um, I, uh, business and accounting faculty there. Okay, it makes sense because there are many businesses in the CBD and it also makes sense for our campus to be located next to them so that we'll be able to give them placements, uh, support and all that as well uh, for all our students. Palmerston, that's another campus within Darwin and that is for our vocational education training programs that we offer, okay? Um, in Alice Spring, that's also for our VAT program, Vocational Education Training. And in Sydney, that is, um, it's, it's built for our health precinct. So there's a lot of um, health programs that are offered in Sydney. And the location itself is also in the CBD of um, Sydney, okay? 
So there are not many universities in Australia. There are also a dual sector universities. So only, only less than uh, four. Um, and CDU is lucky enough to be the only university in the Northern Territory. There's no other universities here. But in addition to that, we are also a dual sector university. So what is a dual sector university? So we do offer programs in VET and also in, in HE, which is higher education. So in VET programs, we offer programs in certificate three, four, um, in commercial cookery, hospitality management, in uh, barber, hairdressing, uh, beauty therapy, um, and all that. And then we also offer programs in higher education, which is in diploma, uh, bachelor programs, um, honors, masters, grad cert, grad diploma, and also PhD as well. So which means that we have a lot of programs to offer to you. Okay, there's always a programs here that you are able to do. So next one, um, I'm not going to go um, in details because um, this is another feedback, but we have a real person here. This is our CDO uh, um, uh, current student, so I'm, I'm going to go to Edwina again later. So in terms of our achievements, we are number two in employment and starting salaries. This is National Rank Australian University for Graduate Jobs and Pay. And this is, again, consistent with our title today because this is the top careers, the top careers that, uh, that, that you can do here uh, in Darwin. And, and then you'll be able to actually get a good jobs and good pay as well. So there is a statistics from the, from, from the Australian, uh, from Good University Guide 2021 that um, uh, within four months of uh, students graduating from CDU, they usually find a full-time job. Okay, not just find a job, but also find a good job and pay as well. So good salary level. Okay. The next one in terms of our achievements is the leaders in online course delivery. So we have been doing online courses for over 20 years of experience delivering this online. So it's not just recently, it's not just because of the pandemic situations. We've been doing this for a long time. So that's why we be, will be able to bring you uh, to, to, to give you a good platforms and good support so that you will still be able to fully um, unleash your potentials when you do your courses online. All right, um, I'm not gonna go into the next one, but as you can see there, uh, we are in the number one for to return students on, to any campus in Australia, which I'm going to tell you a bit more later on. So quick stats in terms of the CDU students. So we have a total, a total number of students of 20,650 plus. International student numbers, we have 1,900 plus. Recently, um, just um, uh, yesterday, I saw the numbers again, and it's now up to one to 2,100 international students that we currently have here. Countries of origin, so 69 countries of origin. So again, the multiculturalism here that we have in the um, in, in CDU itself, it's really, really great. What about the Philippines alumni? So we have 650 plus alumni um, so far, which is again, a really, really great alumni that we have, not just in Australia, but also the, those students that, that went back to the Philippines and work from there. So this is study with a leader in online learning. Okay, a lot of things has changed lately. So however, CDU degrees and courses are still available for study, 100% online from the comfort of your home, okay? So again, we've done this for the, for the last 20 years. Um, we have a very good platform that we use. It's called Blackboard um, Online, but we have, re we have renamed it to uh, LearnLine now. So Blackboard platform has been used widely, not just in Australia, but also in the US, in Europe, in Asia, as well as in Australia as well. So it's a very, very good platform. And recently we have updated, we have upgraded our uh, online platform to an ultra version, which is called Blackboard, Blackboard Ultra, which really enhance in terms of the capabilities for collab collaborations online. So if you're in Philippines doing online study and online program, you still be able to connect 24 out of seven online with your tutor, with uh, other colleagues as well. You've got uh, the chat, you've got the chat uh, 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 section that you'll be able to connect with people as well. So you're always connected. If you need any help, you can just have a, a put a chat in the chat in the chat box, and then you'll be able to be connected with um, with our team. And also increase collaborations among the students as well. So you're doing a project from the Philippines together with one student from Europe, for example. So it also increased that, that part as well. So 
Um, you can also learn this in this platform uh, with any devices. So you can connect with your laptop, with your uh, computer, with your iPad, and even with your mobile phone as well. So it's really easy for you to be connected as long as you have the internet connections, of course. But then if you don't have the internet connections, you can always download the materials. Then you can, um, you can work on your own without the internet as well, as long as you download it once you have, when you have the internet connections. Okay, so you have the support from fellow students. You also, we also have a small classes online, which is very, very good because you'll be able to get a lot more attention in, in those classes. When you do online, when CDU students will have easy access to all the expertise, guidance, tools, and resources that you need. So Blackboard Ultra, although we have the platform, but we also use additional platforms so that again is for you to be able to unleash your full potential when you do online, including the Education Perfect, Microsoft 365. In fact, Microsoft 365, we are actually giving this license for you for free when you are a student at CDU. So you'll be uh, fully equipped with professional software, learning materials and online library access as well. So all of that will be given to you free of charge, okay? Um, the quality, we have also a lot of the qualified teachers with extensive experience in helping international students prepare for university study. Um, we do different uh, in different platforms, as I mentioned to you before, um, and we always assist you at any stage of your study journey. So you'll be able to, the, the, the academics will be able to give you a lot of guidance and set, set expectations to ensure that you will stay on track across your study, all right? So next one, this is also very important. Um, I'd like to highlight here the COVID-19 situation in the Northern Territory. So we continue to be one of the safest places in Australia for COVID-19. The statistics that you can see from your screen is based on the 25th of March, 2021. So very, very recent. So we have, uh, we, we have uh, uh, one active overseas acquired cases um, and we do, and we don't have, uh, so far we don't have any, or we have zero community transmissions here in the NT, which is really great. Um, we have 107 confirmed cases, but these cases 100% uh, are coming from overseas. So we do have a very good facility here in the NT. It's called the Howard Springs. Um, it was used for a lot of different purposes for the government, um, not for the uh, quarantine, uh, uh, for quarantine uh, time, but because there is this pandemic, so now it's been used for quarantine for all the, um, uh, the, the, the flight that the Australian government organized as a repatriation. So, which means that bringing Australia back to Australia and they are uh, quarantined in the Howard Springs here in Darwin um, and then uh, then that's how the, the cases um, have gone up but it's from the uh, the Australian repatriations flight from overseas not from the transmissions between the community here in the local community in Darwin. Um, the location for the quarantine place is also very very safe it's isolated um, it's about 30 minutes away from Darwin so we are here in the whole population that way it's actually very, very safe. So yeah, we are very glad about this. And which means that a lot of the businesses have already opened like normal. Um, and which leads later on to unemployment, which I'm going to tell you a bit uh, about, about that later on as well. So many businesses have already opened like more normal, although they still have to follow the protocols, the health protocols, uh, social distancing and so on as well. But they are already open since May last year. Even myself, um, I don't really experience working from home. So for those of you who are currently working from home, you're actually very lucky. <laughs> I never experienced that. Um, I've always been working in the office here since since May last year, actually. So um, yeah, we're working hard here. <laughs> but I'm sure you're working hard as well from home there. Um, all right. So. The next one here is about the chat of flight. So we uh, we were the only university in the whole Australia that were able to bring the uh, chat of flight, to so bring the students to come to Australia to study, the first one in Australia. In the whole world, we are the second university um, they were able to bring the chat of flight, how good that is. So it's really, really great. So um, that was the, the pilot uh, project that we conducted. That was on 30th of November, 2020. 
and we were able to bring um, international students from overseas, from Vietnam, China, Indonesia, Japan, and Hong Kong um, to study here in Dawit. Unfortunately, we didn't have anyone from the Philippines because there was a complications between the governments as well. Uh, we were only able to bring students to come to Darwin uh, via Singapore. And all those countries have to be approved by the Singaporean government, of course. Unfortunately, at that time, uh, Philippines wasn't approved uh, as a country to uh, transit in Singapore, so that's why we weren't able to bring more Philippine students. Okay, so we were able to bring all those students in a lot of different programs, VET, UG, PG, and PhD as well. So, and they're all now very safe. They're all now studying like normal. Um, what happened in 2021? So we are getting ready. We are getting ready to also organize uh, something similar like this as well, but um, we have submitted the proposal, but it is currently still with the chief health officer. So we have not received any updates or approval, but really hoping that we will be able to get it from the government. So we are working closely together with them in order to bring uh, more students to come here from overseas to Darwin. So, and these are the pictures um, to show you when they first arrived in Darwin. And another one here as well, when they are um, uh, completing their current, their uh, customs from the, uh, at the uh, Darwin International Airport. There you go. So next one here, what I can tell you here is the nth requirements um, to study at CDU. Um, so uh, I'm going to send you this uh, PowerPoint as well through through the agencies, through, through BADA, and they will be able to uh, send you this PowerPoint as well. But uh, just to give you a quick overview here for undergraduate is that you need a completion of one year of a bachelor degree. So that's currently, but we are working uh, to accept the A-level IB and also so K-12 qualifications as well, so that you will be able to study directly uh, without any foundations or diploma to uh, straight to bachelor degree at CDU. The only entry requirements that you have uh, for from the K-12 is 80%. So that's currently work in progress, but I don't think that we'll be able, uh, I, I think we'll be able to offer this very soon as well. So it's currently in the, um, in the, in the final approval um, in, in our team. Okay, so that's for undergraduate degree. For postgraduate, so you need to have a completion of bachelor's degree and some programs require the, the evidence of passing the professional re regulation commission slash and so um, uh, um, that, that, that can be, that may be required as well. For VET, for all the certificate and all the diploma, so grad 11 and 12 from K-12 Philippines, so we can accept that. Um, and the English, so the English, um, Philippines is actually considered as English um, uh, background, uh, English language speaking country in, 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 in CDU. So you are very lucky that you don't actually need to submit the um, English test, but you need to submit um, the medium of instructions letter uh, for undergraduate, postgraduate or vet programs as well. However, this only applies for programs, for standard programs, okay? We do have high level programs such as Bachelor of Nursing or Master of Nursing, teaching, for example, um, all those programs that require 7.0 IELTS, unfortunately, you need to complete IELTS for those programs, okay? On, this is only for programs, they are only required standard entry requirement, all right? So yeah, um, um, again, we'll be able to give you all these requirements um, um, after this, after the meeting. So next one here, and this is the additional country profile factor. So we do assess, uh, there is an assessment not on GPA or overall average. So this information is not normally included um, in the academic um, transcripts. So the students will have to provide an official letter from the institution setting that the applicant's GPA or, or, or overall average. But then again, don't you worry if you want to submit an application to CDU, there's nothing, uh, there's no fees at all. Uh, everything is free from CDU, okay? But you can, you are feel free for you to apply through BADA. Um, they are our official agents. And once you submit the application from them, you are actually in a very good hands as well. They'll be able to help you with uh, not just the consultations, but also in submitting visa applications. Am I right, Monette? Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Okay. So yeah, if you want to know more about how to submit applications, please talk to um, Bada. 
All right. So now is my, is Edwina's time. So I'd like to introduce uh, to all of you um, our current students doing a batch of nursing, and she started in semester one, 2020, 2020. Actually, very lucky because this is this is bef right before the uh, the closures of the um, Australian borders. So Edwina Joy Pahel. Yeah. Hello, great. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to let you introduce yourself to the audience um, and then we're going to do a bit of a, a chat. Okay, all right, over to you. Uh, so, hi everyone. I'm Edwina Joy Pahel. I'm from Kalinga, Philippines, which is on the north. And Ilocano ako, so kahit sa mga Ilocano dyan. So, I'm studying nursing at the moment, second year, first semester. Um, and I'm a receiver of CDU Global excellent scholarship as well that's great yes so it's actually not very easy to get a, a cdu excellent scholarship this is one actually one of the highest scholarships as well so before i talk about that um edwina i just would like to ask you why do you choose cdu and what do you choose down in uh the, actually the reason why i choose cdu because i have relatives in here mm -hmm. so uh, i have free accommodation and I choose Darwin because I've searched on the internet like the best place to study. So the first factors are like um, cheap tuition fee compared to other states, um, high satisfaction rates from students. I've searched YouTube like videos telling mm. and then students telling that how they were like satisfied studying mm. in here, like the and also like the facilities, mm -hmm. like the library. Mm -hmm. I always go to the library. So the Wi-Fi in here is so like strong compared to my recent school. <laughs> so yeah, that's a plus. Yeah. Yep. And also like the a few graduate in here, like for example, in bachelor's in nursing, they will like help you to have placement all throughout and then Eventually, you'll land a full-time job, which is like a plus for me. Okay. All right, no, that's very good. And of course, um, then the pandemic happened mm -hmm. when you started, um, and the universities, not just CDU, but many universities in Australia have to uh, have to uh, change the way we deliver our courses. Yes. Um, so you must have experience uh, studying online. So because now everything is online as well, I just would like to ask you if you're able to share experience, experience your experience on online learning, and you can also tell us what are the challenges that you experience when you do online learning. So yeah, the, there are like positive and negative yes. sides of online learning, and um, we all are experiencing that. So uh, the positive experience that I'm like, I'm experiencing right now with online learning is that um, because CDU is so like like ginagay talaga ako ng CDU <laughs> ginagay talaga ako sa lahat lahat lang kung yung mga kapag ka baguhan pa lang kayo kasi hindi nyo alam gagawin like uh, may mga yung sa staffs dito sa CDU lumapit lang kayo like hindi naman mas mamagtanong kung hindi nyo talaga alam so tanong lang kayo kung ano yung mga dapat gawin tuturo kayo kay Dito kasi madaming essays, puro essays, so mag-focus kayo before kayo pumunta dito, no? Mag-practice kayo dun sa essays, essays talagang nakafocus kasi sila sa essays dito. Yung mga plagiarism checker, yung mga ganun. So, igagay talaga kayo dito kung ano yung mga dapat kawin. So, ayun, kapag ka... Sorry, I just I just changed the setting so that it all highlights to Edwina. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, online learning ay positive is kung kahit na sa bahay ka lang, like gamit i download mo lang yung Blackboard Learn Line yun. Download Blackboard and Learn Line. So while cooking, you can like watch the tutorials. So if if you decided to not to come to school, ka kasi mas gusto mo na lang gumawa ng assignment wag ka nang pumasok sa school pwede rin yun kasi wala rin man sila attendance so panoorin mo na lang sa bahay habang nagluluto habang habang nanonood ng iba't ibang bagay ganun so ayun mas maganda yung online learning para sa akin kasi flexible yung time tsaka kahit saan ka kahit na kahit nasa bus ka lang I amin mean, manood ka na lang ng lecture pwede mong gawin yun yung negative side ng online learning is um, hindi ka Ay, yung positive side din pala ng online learning is, di ba, yung school dito kasi, like, napakalawak ng stadium, like, 300, 300 plus yung students. So, parang mahirap mag-recite ganun. So, kapag 
kagaya ng may, kapag uh, isa kang taong mahiyaang mag-recite ganyan, pwede ka na lang din mag-type dun sa, dun sa ano kung, kung gusto mong mag-share ng ideas at saka mag-interact sa other students or sa teacher. So, punta tayo dun sa negative side ng online learning is. Yung negative side ng online learning is parang hindi kayo, ma, hindi ba i-improve yung communication skills nyo kasi hindi kayo nakaka- interact sa other people. So, ayun, yun lang para sa akin yung negative side ng online learning. Tapos, isa pa pala, yung kapag ka sa teacher, ang hirap makipag-communicate kasi masyadong madami nag-email sa teacher. Tapos, tao rin naman yung teacher, madami ring mga priority sa buhay. So, um, hindi talaga sila, hindi na, nila talaga kayo maa-accommodate lahat. So, ayun, yun lang. Great. Well, I wouldn't be able to understand what she mentioned. So if there's anything, I'm not, that's probably from, from, uh, from um, Edwina's side as well. But I really hope that it's okay for, for her to speak in, in Tagalog. Um, I, I hope that everyone is also be able to understand in, in, in the language. Is that right, Monet? Yes, yes. I think uh, our participants are Most all Filipinos. I think I, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for confirming. Yeah. Um, I'm not from the Philippines, uh, but I'm, 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 I usually travel to the Philippines very uh, very often, so maybe two, uh, about two months, uh, every two months, but that's before the borders is um, uh, open. So the other thing that I'd like to ask you um, as well, Edwina, um, you mentioned that you also receive a very good award, a scholarship award um, from CIDU, and I think that's one of the um, uh, highest scholarships as well. Can you give us, can you give, can you give our audience um, uh, tips um, how to apply uh, for scholarships, how to successfully apply for scholarships? There you go. So the first thing that you must do is to check the deadline kasi may mga deadline yung mga scholarship. Tapos, uh, basahin nyo yung mga requirements kung pasado ba kayo kung like Filipino students, kung isusearch nyo talaga kung Filipino students, kung yung grades, grades yung merit-based scholarships, merong mga ganun, tapos merong din yung mga scholarship na it depends lang dun sa letter. So, mag-search na kayo sa YouTube before gumawa ng uh, letter, kasi like your letter, you need mm -hmm. to know. Sure. Yeah, why do you deserve this scholarship and all that? Yeah. Before, uh, before going, dapat um, ilagay nyo na yung mga points kung bakit nyo deserve yung scholarship, kung um, I mean be genuine sa pagsulat ng letter kasi like makikita talaga nila kung pa fake fake lang yung pinaglalagay nyo or ano tapos ayun niya yung grades um, kung nag-aaral pa rin kayo ngayon make sure na yung grades nyo is medyo mataas kasi tinitignan din nila yun tapos um, yung due date nga before, before yung due date dapat uh, prepared na kayo dun sa mga requirements kaya i-check gamawa na lang kayo ng checklist tapos Ayun, before due date, ipasa niyo yung mga requirements para di kayo mahuli. That's good. That's good. And not many may, not many students are actually able to uh, get the scholarship. So you are very, very lucky. And that's really good. And I'm sure not just lucky, but also it's because you got the capability. You got very good backgrounds as well, educational backgrounds as well. And your statements are, are top notch. That's why we have chosen you as one of the receiver of the scholarships as well. All right, thank you very much, Rina. I think I'm going to come back to you a bit later as well. I'm sure we have a Q&A session, but uh, now I'm going to continue my presentation again. I'm continuing our presentation here. Um, now it's about scholarships. So we do have a scholarship that we offer um, to all our international students. So you know, again, you don't have to write all the scholarship. It's all available online. And this presentation is going to be sent to you as well. So um, what I'd like to highlight here is that, that the scholarship that we, ha that we have here are open for um, semester two intake. So that is our next intake. And majority of the scholarships um, are dependent on the academic achievements, okay? Um, so you need to have very good grades to be able to apply for these scholarships. We don't have, um, unfortunately, a full scholarship. The highest that we have is 50% scholarship for the whole duration of your degree, which is still, again, a very, very good and generous scholarship as well that we have. We do have the, the, the newest one that we have is the VET scholarships. So that is a $4,000 scholarship for one of payment. So that's also another scholarship that we offer for you, okay, when you do VET programs. Again, um, it is, there is a link available there. Um, you'll be able to see a lot more in, the, in, in our website. That's to see for the most up-to-date information. 
The next one here is the scholarship for the foundations program, international one-year diploma, and also the, the bridging programs as well. And for this scholarship, and this is through all the pathways and bridging courses, this scholarship is actually automatic scholarship. So you don't have to apply at all. You'll be automatically considered, but this is only for programs in the foundations, international one-year diploma, and also the Master of Qualifying Program or MQP. All right. So um, whatever the, um, the journey of your uh, study um, at CD, whether it's online or face-to-face, -face, we have the student support services that is always available to help you at any stage of your study journey, okay? Um, so these students will be able to help, uh, sorry, these uh, staff members will be able to help you at any stage, whether that's for personal support, academic support, or international student support. All right, next one is the New World Online. So this is the top 2021 courses for careers um, version CDU, because here in the Northern Territory, many businesses are already open um, and we are recruiting many, um, many full-time jobs as well and part-times as well, of course. So yeah, so I'll, I'll highlight the programs that we have um, as well as the online opportunity and also placements or internship as well. So the first college that we have, well, actually, I'm going to give you just a quick stats. This is a quick stats before the pandemic, okay? So this is uh, based on 2018. So it only, sh it, it shows that the uh, international students inside the Northern Territory, they, on, they have, we have an average of 72% of student work while they study. So very, very high percentage. And in terms of salary, it's also very high as well. So students can can start, can work part-time. So they'll usually get about $24 an hour on weekdays, $26 on Saturdays, or $29 on the Sundays, which is pretty high. While outside the NT, in terms of the report that we get from Deloitte, um, is actually much more lower in other states and territories in Australia, which is pretty good. So this is obviously before pandemic, but what happened after the pandemic? So here we have the employment statistics. This is based in November, 2020. This is the latest one. And the link that we have is actually from the government. So it shows there that Northern Territory is actually placed second for unemployment rate, which is really, really great. Um, so we are 5.9% we are, uh, um, in terms of our unemployment rate. So the first one is Australian Capital Territory, so it's ACT, uh, but that's normal because um, in ACT, there are many federal governments as well. Actually, the capital city of Australia is in ACT, it's in Canberra. So that's why there are many uh, people that have jobs there because it's federal government there. But we are uh, place taken 5.9% uh, only for the unemployment rate. Again, this is really, really great news. That, that means that many of the businesses here, um, um, uh, they, 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 they're they able to recover from this pandemic very, very quickly compared to other states in, and, and territories here in Australia. So which means that it's also open for all our international students when they find for employment, when they finish their degree, all right? So our colleges, we have, we are a dual sector university and these are the colleges that we have. Business and Law, Indigenous Futures Art Society, Nursing and Midwifery, which is Edwina's College of Faculty. We have Engineering, IT, Environment Science, Health, Human Science and Education. So these are the, the, the ones in blues. They are all the colleges that we have at the university. Firstly, the business and accounting. So many of our programs here have already been accredited as well. And the highlight for this program is the MBA and MPA professional practice. The duration is two years. The annual fee is there. Is again, it is very affordable compared to other universities, as what Advina mentions. And many of these courses as well have internship or professional placements. So these specific programs, the MBA and MPA professional practice, have 300 hours of internship. So again, as what Edwina mentions, this internship is actually placed uh, 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 with the help from uh, the, the staff members at the university and we place the students into the uh, businesses, the local businesses here in the Northern Territory. And because NT and because in Darwin, CDU is the only university here, there's no other universities. So that's why we actually uh, have a very, very good relationship with all the industries in the Northern Territory, okay? 
uh, it makes sense because we are the only university here. Um, so we do have a very, very good relationship with them and we'd be able to also source a lot of the employment and, and resources, not just in the, in, in the academic, but also in the students uh, side as well. So, so really, really great news here. Um, so yeah, so the MBA and MPA have 300 hours of internship, uh, which you'll be able to experience working in an Australian company while you're completing your degree. The hope is that, that when you finish your degree, then you'll be able to connect with the local industries and really hoping that you'll be able to also work in the same company after you graduate from CDU. Another one here is the engineering, IT, and science. So these programs are under one faculty. So many of these programs, again, we have uh, the accreditation from the Australian Computer Society. And many of these programs as well have the optional internship opportunities to work in IT, government, health, or private industries as well, okay? So a lot of opportunities for you. You can do for a master's degree or a bachelor degree in all these areas. So <clears throat> we have also the industry certifi certification. So from Microsoft, Cisco, and also um, Australian Computer Society. Um, so again, this is a similar page as the one that, that I showed you before, but if I show you the industry partners, there you go. This is the industry partners that we work with. And this is only, um, this is only a small, uh, 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 just an example that I gave you, but we have, Lots. We have thousand more companies that we are working with. Um, these are the main one. Uh, we have working uh, collaborations with NEC, IBM, Intersystems, Kinetic IT, Northern Territory Government. Um, then we have the industry certifications as well, which as what I mentioned to you before. So yeah, a lot of good. Um, a lot of good companies. Even if you do your courses online, you still be eligible also for the internship if your if your courses have embedded uh, 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 practical and, and internships um, into the course. So yeah, there is the opportunity as well. So engineering IT. So um, I think I already mentioned to you about this one. The next one is the indigenous arts and, and society. So um, we do have these programs and many also looking at doing this program. We have many also niche programs, so for example, Master of Emergency and Disaster Management that not many universities in Australia usually do. So what other jobs that you usually uh, uh, do after graduating from this? So here's an example. Um, you can become a program manager's arts advisor that you, can, that you get about $70,000 or $80,000 per year gallery managers or owners, curators, um, architects, that's more than $100,000 per year as well. Again, all these opportunities are available in the Northern Territory. We have also case workers, um, grant writers, field coordinators, regional coordinators, all of that um, also available um, uh, in the Northern Territory. You've got also the approximate um, salary range there, which is pretty good. Um, this is careers in the humanitarian and disaster management. Another one is the indigenous policy. Um, you have the um, policy studies, indigenous um, policy assistant translators, policy analyst, $80,000 per year, teachers, linguistic programs, political advisors, $100,000 to $110,000 per year as well. No, it's taking me to free. This is um, Edwina's College. Um, so master's and bachelor's students have also optional internship and placements. Um, and for the nursing program is actually part of it as well, isn't it? It's, it's, not, it's not optional. It's, you have to. You have to do it. <laughs> um, so you'll be able to also work in the health sectors um, and also private industries as well. The per annum salary is expected to be between sixty-five dollars to $75,000 a year. And this is for fresh graduate, okay? Um, if you work for longer than one year, of course, you get an additional, uh, it's a different, different uh, uh, tuition uh, um, salary range. But this is for fresh graduate users. So in these programs, you uh, in the uh, nursing and midwifery, it's actually one of the biggest or one of the largest college at CDU, um, and a lot of the students will be able to take placements across Australia. So again, not just in the NT, but also across Australia, and students will be able to also engage in activities and research in countries around the world. Okay. And I mentioned to you before that we have campus in Sydney. We do offer these programs, not just in Kajuna campus, but also in Sydney. So if you like to live in um, a modern city, metropolitan, very, very busy city, then you can also do your Bachelor of Nursing or Master of Nursing in Sydney. How good is that? So you can choose either here 
or in, in, in Sydney. Okay, so you've got two choices there, which is really great. We have other programs that we offer in the Sydney campus as well. So such as the grad cert in service management, um, mental health, um, uh, grad cert in, um, uh, in, in health courses as well, health management also uh, in, in, in Sydney as well. So next one is the education. So the education as well um, for you, if you would like to become a teacher registration, so you can do either bachelor level or master of teaching. So these are the courses that leads into teacher registration. And it's actually, again, very, very popular here in the Northern Territory. We have um, one university only that have these programs, but we have thousands of schools. Um, so that's why um, we, are we are able to put those placements in, uh, uh, for students into those schools as well, in, especially in regional areas, um, which is really great. So you'll be able to get those experiences as well while you're completing your degree. So these programs are available for early childhood, primary and even secondary teachings as well. So yeah. So that's for the educations. And again, expected salary is between 65 to $75,000 per year for our fresh graduate students. Next one, we have the health and human sciences. Um, we have the bachelor programs and also the master of master programs as well. Um, there are many of these. Um, uh, they are also very unique to CDU and also very unique to Australia because not many universities in Australia offer these programs such as bachelor of paramedicine, and also master of aeromedical retrieval that you can that you can do everything online. So this is very, very unique um, to Australia. Not many universities have this. I think only two universities in Australia have this program. Um, so that's really great as well. So expected um, salary, it's also between 65 to $75 a year. Um, so many of these programs, uh, when the graduate students will be able to actually study, also to actually work in government, in health and also private health industries as well. So the faculty also provide structured progression um, uh, onto other professional training, such as the medicine and physiotherapy as well, outside of these um, uh, degrees that we have. So I mentioned to you about the vet programs. This is the hospitality and cookery as well. Um, so you, if you are uh, from year 11 or year 12, you can also do a package programs. So from certificate three diploma and then also two bachelor of business as well. We have few pathways. These are only three that I show you. Uh, we have cookery, hospitality or baking study pathways that you can combine certificate three diploma and also bachelor of business as well. Cost of living. So the cost of living, um, I'm, I'm sure that I still have a bit more time. Um, so this is the cost of living. Uh, it's quite affordable. It's only 175 to $227 um, a week. This is an estimated weekly expenses for a single student. So if you bring your family, of course, it will be different. If you're staying with your family here as well in the Northern Territory, of course, it's different. But this is just an estimation. Um, if you live on campus, it's actually more cheaper. What I like about this is that the public transportation, it's only $7. $7. <laughs> $7 a week, that's that's like $1 a day. So um, I've been living in Australia for the last 17 years and I can assure you, I can tell you that $7 a week is actually the most cheapest um, transportation that you can that, that is available in the whole Australia. So yeah. Um, and yeah, so if you live outside campus, so it'll be around 487 to 1367. So depending on your, uh, uh, on your living style as well. So yeah, this is, this is uh, just an estimated expenses. And the on-campus accommodation, um, it's, on, it's on campus. So, so it's only five minutes walking distance and so on as well. And we do have the other campus, which is only 10 minutes walking distance. And yeah, and these are the links and everything that you'll be able to see. Um, uh, before I end this and before we prepare for the uh, q and I've got one more uh, video if I'm able to show you, if that's okay with you. I'm going to stop my sharing and I'm going to share you another screen, which is this one here. This is about the online study. Um, just to like to show you this.
There you go. Um, over to you, um, Monette. Yes, thank you, Windu, for that very detailed um, presentation. And also thank you, Edwina, for sharing your experience there. It sounds really nice as well. And um, I, I think I am ready now to open the floor to our Q&A. I've actually received a couple of questions already, so I should go ahead now by asking. I think this one is for Windu. Sorry. For Edwina, uh, Edwina, I'm not sure if it's all right, but is it possible to know what grade, which grade, did you um, did you get, or what grade helped you get your scholarship? Is it okay to ask, <laughs> or can you give us a range? Hundred percent. Ninety pataas. Yeah, ninety pataas daw ang galeng. Okay, achievable ba yan, Edwina? <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, I think that's one of um, yeah, the question. And another one window is, I think I think some of the participants are from senior grade 12, senior high school grade 12. So they are wondering if they're able to apply or enroll at CDU and if they would be able to go straight to a bachelor's program. Yeah, so um, at the moment, it's not approved. The new entry requirement is not approved. So the you need to have a minimum of one year bachelor or even one semester bachelor degree from the Philippines. Um, the the, the K-12 qualifications, we are currently working on it, but I'm expecting that we'll be able to get approval within two, three weeks. But then again, um, in, in two, three weeks time, um, our semester one have already started. So the next intake for CDU is, is in August. So I, uh, if, if you're able to wait for the next three weeks, for example, um, and then hof hopefully that will be able to get the approval very soon. And the proposal that we have put up is that we have put it in is the um, uh, K-12 qualifications, a minimum score of 80% to be able to go direct into bachelor degree at CDU, yes. So uh, to confirm, at the moment, we don't accept that, unfortunately, but we are waiting to get a confirmation. So in the next three weeks, so again, again, and also the, uh, the, the, the next intake is in August this year. And Windu, is it possible to undergo a pathway program instead? That's correct. So if, if your score is below the 80% um, average, so you are also able to do a pathway programs. So either, either from the foundations or from the diploma programs as well. The diploma programs uh, in terms of the entry requirements, if I'm not wrong, I think it's around 70% uh, um, uh, average. Um, so yeah. And for the diploma programs is you do one year diploma. We only have two diplomas now. So diploma, diploma of business and diploma of IT. Um, and then after you finish one year, then you do the second year bachelor degree. So you don't start from the beginning again. You go straight into the second year degree. Okay. And how about those who've already graduated from their bachelor's degree? Are they able to enroll at CDU? For masters, yes, but there are a couple of programs that you have to provide with the uh, licensure exam. Okay, so Philwa, I hope that answers your question. It is possible, but it's for a master's program. And also we have a question. Um, um, do you look at the school where the student graduated from in the Philippines or do they require SAT? So the new one or the, the one that is proposed, we don't require SAT. Oh. So, but the, for the for the moment, yes, we do still. We don't actually accept from K twelve. Um, so that's what that's what it is at the moment. For the new one, is there's no SAT. We don't we don't actually require any SAT score. All right, great. And I think there is someone who's interested in speech pathology course and would like to know the estimated fees for the undergraduate program. Um, I'm not 100% uh, uh, know the, the tuition fees, but I think um, it would be around thirty two to, to, to $35,000 a year. Okay. I will also suggest to this, uh, I forgot the name. Yeah, I would also suggest to Chloe, maybe you'd also like to check the website of CDU. Yeah. Later on, I will be flashing it and I'll be sending this information also via email. Okay. And... Um, Windu, is it possible for students to transfer from Sydney to Darwin and still get the post-study visa of three years? 
So the post-study work visa, this is what is great as well. Um, um, I'm only, and I'm only telling if there is a questions about it um, because here at CDU, um, we only promote about university, but seeing that you are asking about this, so the post-study work visa in the uh, in Darwin in Northern Terri Territory is actually really great, really great because we are considered as a regional university. And here, the post-study work visa is actually more than any other states as well. So for example, um, the, the, uh, the, the post-study work visa, if, if you're graduated from a bachelor degree that you can get up to four years, for a master's degree, it's up to five years, and for a PhD, it's up to six years. And come back to your question, Yes, you can transfer from Sydney to uh, a bachelor, uh, sorry, to, to Darwin, but as long as it's still during the two years. Okay. Because minimum right. degree is two years. Okay. Thank you for that. And I think I have two more. <laughs> Last two more. So I, it's about the scholarship. Is it a full scholarship? So unfortunately, we don't have a full scholarship offering. The maximum that we have is, 50, is only 50%, but 50% is actually not too bad at all. Yes. Um, so that's around uh, 30 to, depending on the program, of course, it's around 30 to $45,000 that we give out for scholarship. Okay, um, but then of, of course the uh, the academic uh, merit or the academic uh, grades that what we're looking for as well. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. And fellow was asking if there's a need to pass the licensure examination before I can apply. I think Velva, this would depend on what course you're trying to apply for, but I think not, right? No licensure examination required. There is a couple of programs that we do have they we do require the licensure exam, yes. Um, okay, so it would depend. That's correct, yes. I think she's aiming for education. So yes, so that's also depending on the uh, on the which universities that the student came from in the Philippines too. Okay, Phil, well, my suggestion is you schedule an orientation with us, a consultation. Let's talk about your qualifications so we can provide you more accurate information, if that's all right. Um, okay, I think we've answered all the questions so far. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I think I did not miss anything. Um, we are running out of time, in fact, but I do appreciate all the questions. Thank you for sending them over. And um, I think that's it for the questions today. Um, uh, anybody else want to say? I think none, no more. Edwina, all good? <laughs> Okay, well, I think um, that's it for today. And please allow me to conclude this session by thanking everyone for joining. We hope you found the session productive. Let me just share a screen um, very quick because I want to, sorry. Okay, because I want to show the contact details. Okay. Yep, a big thank you to our guest speaker. Uh, Mr. Herwindu Sadiwa, and of course our guest student, Edwina Pahel, for taking the time <laughs> and joining us today from Charles Darwin University, Australia, and for making this event meaningful and possible. Um, a big shout out, of course, to all our participants today for joining us. Build your new world with CDU and le learn more at cdu.edu.au. For inquiries or for those who still have other questions, feel free to send over your questions to philippines at bada.edu.com. And of course, we are more than welcome to plan your studies and schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation. We usually do it over Zoom at the moment, and it's all for free. You can also reach us at 0917-823-3463. And that's it for today, this afternoon. It's a wrap. I'd like to ask everyone to keep safe, stay home, and um, we look forward to servicing you and assist you in studying at Charles Darwin University. That will be all for today, <laughs> not night. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you all. Bye-bye.